Jim Larkin said for years and years I've done the work I was born for. Wise words in some context, but personally, I think that nothing is predetermined, that we create our own path and we create our own stories. Which admittedly is increasingly hard to do in a busy world which does little to inspire me, where deadlines, smartphones and Netflix leave little time for adventure, or in my case, the outdoors. And I think that's why I've become so obsessed with micro-adventures. I don't want to be consumed by 9 to 5 or any other excuse for that matter. Instead, I am focusing on the opposite, the 5 to 9. I know it's quite cliche uh, when people talk about reconnecting with nature. Be one with nature. But there is that about the outdoors. There's this flowing river behind me. It just feels so fresh and peaceful. It makes you live in the moment. It really does. Nothing can do that, I find. Nothing can do that in the same way that the outdoors does. I also feel that as you get older, and maybe when life has punched you in the face one too many times, your priorities change and you start to look at things in a different way, whether that be fairy trees or monasteries or churches. But at the same time, I don't need history or knowledge to appreciate what looks nice or how it makes me feel. Micro adventures are short, inexpensive local escapes. As long as I make it back to work on time, they can be taken any day of the week. So even Sunday or Monday are now an opportunity. I can finish work, strap a bag on my back and just head for the hills. Look for somewhere to place my tent and forget about all the stress and the worry of the modern world. Thing is, I've never seen Ireland in this way before. I've probably spent too much of my time playing it safe instead of getting out there to find an island that could inspire me. When the sun comes, I pack up and hurry back, completely aware of how meaningful these micro adventures can be. For there is peace of mind, clarity and consciousness while I'm out there, but then I'm also learning in the wild, not just the history and not just about the past, but I am also learning about the power of now and how important it is to start to try something different, to follow the winding path, to open my eyes and know that I don't need money, I don't need time, I don't even need to travel to the other side of the world. All I need to do is change my state of mind and get out there. To be fair, Jim Larkin also said, Comrades, we are living in momentous times. And in my case, I believe that this is still true. After all, Ireland is such a 
wild and rugged and beautiful place and if adventure really is just a state of mind well then comrades I choose adventure <laughs>